Hello, I'm Atuba George. It is really hot in here. <laughs> Praise God. <sighs> the anointing of God's spirit is so strong. Believe me. Believe me. We are going to push out this baby we call the new Nigeria. We are pushing her out. We are pushing this baby out. And it's not by might, it is not by power, it is by the Spirit of the living God. And that's why the Lord has said, go and activate the Hushite and the Esthers. Now, I, I've spent since Monday talking to you about Hushite, showing you from the scriptures who he is and what he did and, and, and what role he played to bring to pass what God had determined for Israel and for David. Now I'm going to I'm going to look, we're going to begin to look at Esther and let's see how the Lord is going to help us today. Now I know today is Friday. So if we don't finish today, we're going to listen, this whole month the Lord says, go and activate and release the Hushites and the Esthers. Now that's why we're meeting at 12 midnight, praying till 1 a.m. every day day this month things are happening i'm telling you so if you've not joined us yet i invite you tonight don't miss it do it for your nation do it for your we're doing this in obedience to the lord so join us and the lord will bless you it's as simple as that praise god now let's look at let's turn our bibles to the book of esther esther is the book before job which is the book before the book of Psalms. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, this story is, is unique, the story of Esther. Now, <clears throat> wow, I pray the Lord will help us. Because I, 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 I'm taking these things, I, I'm getting to the depth of these things, so, so I can bring for. remember what I told you when we started this whole series, about lessons, life lessons from the Bible. We, we look at a story and then we get every juice. We get everything, everything we can get from it. We just pull it out and, and increase in our own wisdom. And then we live by the wisdom of God. Praise God. So let's start. Now, the background story, how did Esther become queen? You know the story. Now, Esther, um, the, the king, Ahasuerus, had a, had a wife, Vanshti, and then she did something. The, the king wanted her to show up in his presence and then she wasn't in the mood. And then you know the story. By the wisdom of a man. By the wisdom of one man. Vanshi was thrown out of the palace. It wasn't the king that took that decision. It wasn't the king. You know what I mean. Eventually, it was the king had to take a decision. But what made the king, what pushed the king to even think of doing that? Because therefore, he could have just reprimanded her. But what made the king go, oh, it's true, it's true, somebody said something. Now, these are the kind of people that are around the king. These are the kind of people that are around your president. These are the kind of people that are around your governors. They don't take decisions by themselves. There are people around them. Now, that is also where you find the Hushites. So, Vashti was thrown out, and then a new queen was to be selected. And you know the story. Esther was made the queen because God's favor was upon her life. Now, after Esther was made queen, she had an uncle in the name of Mordecai. Now, the Bible specifically said, Esther chapter 2. Okay, look at verse. There's something you need to understand here. Verse 10, chapter 2. Book of Esther chapter 2. Look at verse 10. It says, and it says, Esther had not shown, showed her people nor her kindred, for Mordecai had charged her that she should not show it. So they didn't know Esther was a Jewish 
person. They didn't know this. Why? Because Mordecai, now Mordecai was like her father. He was like, don't tell anybody where you're from. Specifically told her that. Now, <clears throat> we, go, we jump to verse 20. Now, after she was, was um, she became queen. Now, it says, verse, verse, verse 20. Esther had not yet showed her kindred nor her people as Mordecai had charged her. For Esther did the commandment of Mordecai like as when she was brought up with him. Notice Esther. Mordecai raised her. Everything Mordecai told her to do is what she did. Now, he told her, don't tell them who you are. Just play along. And so she played along and she was chosen to be made queen. Now, even after she was made queen, the Bible says she still followed the words of Mordecai. The same way she followed his words when he was raising her up. Now, that's a quality of Esther. Now, Esther is one who is in a privileged position. Not even having all the facts or strength to do anything. But Esther's always have the strong people backing them up. Now, the fact that we're talking about Esther doesn't mean it has to be a lady. No. You see, also, the fact that we're talking about Esther doesn't mean um, you have to be the queen. No. You see, <clears throat> there are Esthers who, and I was praying about this, and, and this is what the Lord said to me. And I wanted to list it. Within this year, within, within, from the closing of, close of last year, 2019, and now, there are certain things that have happened quietly. As I'm speaking, if you find yourself in this position, you will understand what I'm saying. Suddenly, people have been pulled down from their position. And you, a child of God, out of the blues, you know what I mean, out of the blues, you are pushed up. People were brought down. And then that you go up. So you just find yourself, you didn't lobby for this, you didn't bargain for this, you didn't even plan for this. You just found out that they called you and said, oh, um, we've, we've, we've fired the person that was there, or the person that is there is gone for whatever reason. So we, um, we need you to fill up this vacuum. And then you find out that you have been pushed into such a position of privilege. Now, when I mean privilege, the same thing like, at, like the Hushites. You just, you're around the, where decisions are made. You're around where um, just an place like that. You might be a nobody. You might not be the queen. You understand what I'm saying? See, because even Esther, though she was the queen, she was still like a nobody. Nobody really knew who she was. Because everybody is focused on the king. But Esther, the quality of Esther, remember I told you about Husha. Husha was a loyal person. And he showed it his words. Now, Esther was loyal also, loyal to her authority. Now, that's why the Bible specifically said here that, that for Esther did the commandment of Mordecai, like as when she was brought up with him, even as a queen. Now, think about this. A Mordecai of our day today. We want to be drinking tea with the king every day. Say, Esther, you can't be there. And I'm, yeah. Where was Mordecai? Said, At the gate of the palace. Like a nobody. And he told Esther, you know what? Look, listen, don't tell anybody I'm even connected to you. Just do your work. Stay there. If I need to send you any message, I will send you any, any, the message. And you will do as I say. Is that okay? Yes, sir. 
You see, because sometimes God elevates an Esther and the Mordecaias blow it up and lose their respect. So when Esther is supposed to carry out an assignment, she's lost it already before the time. Why? Because the Mordecai will not just sit down quietly at the gates. The Mordecai will want to say, it is me that prayed you into this place. Ask the king that he should give us a contract. Ask the king that he should. You better tell the king, go. Tell the king that I'm greeting him good morning. Did you tell the king that I greeted him? Esther, ah, ah, you're, the, ah, you're the queen now. Can't you invite me? Tell the king that you have an uh, uncle that, uh, in fact, he's everything to you. You see, we must be circumspect in the season that we are in. This is not the time for all that. This is the time to operate. The Mordecaias need to operate from the background. Now, the moment Esther became queen, do you know what her first assignment was? Her first job was to save the life of the king. Now, see how this played out. Let's, let's, let's look at this. Chapter 2. Chapter 2, book of Esther. Verse 21. In those days, while Mordecai sat in the king's gates, two of the king's chamberlain, Bigdan and Teresh, of those which kept the door, were wrought and sought to lay hand on the king, on King Ahasuerus. And the thing was known to Mordecai, who told it unto Esther the queen. And Esther certified the king thereof in Mordecai's name. And when inquisition was made of the matter, it was found out. Therefore, they were both hanged on a tree. And it was written in the book of the Chronicles before the king. Did you see that? Imagine, imagine if Mordecai had pushed himself to be elevated from where he was supposed to be sitting. Now, two men conspired to attack the king. Mordecai, because he was just there by the gate, like a nobody. So it was like gossip. Imagine this king. Bros, this is what we must do. I don't understand the king now. Who must, who must decide? And Mordecai was just there. You know, so that, looked at him and said, Who's this one? Doesn't even know anybody. Now imagine if he had pushed himself, you know, sit, even though he was still sitting there, say, You see that Esther? She's my daughter. Oh. She's my daughter. Oh. Ah, hmm. ah, don't worry. Very soon, very soon, very soon, you will see elevation. He relaxed like a nobody. Hey, this is what we're going to do. Mm. Wow. Hey, guys, how are we going to do it? Ah, we have already planned this. We have hidden our weapon in this place. We're like, ah, are you sure this is what it is? Ah, this king. Ah, we have to deal with him. We have to teach him a lesson. Okay. Malika called whoever he called. Hey, go and tell Esther this. Tell her to go and tell the king. And Esther went before the king. King, your life is in danger. Why? Why isn't it? I have an uncle. His name is Mordecai. Oh, I, I don't think she, there is one man. His name is Mordecai. Incredible information. I trust him. Are you sure? King, look into it. And they did an investigation and found every fact that Mordecai gave was true. And then they hanged those men. And the Bible said the thing was written in the book of remembrance or the chronicles of the king. Mordecai's name was written and how he saved the king's life. So first thing you need to know about the Esthers, they are loyal people. And then they have their backbone. Who are the Mordecaias? The Mordecaias don't show themselves too much. They are in the background. They believe so much in God's honor. Let's see. We're going to continue this next week but I, I, I need you to you see as I'm as I'm opening this study up I need you to you yourself go do the study and let the wisdom of God come to you we already set we've already set the tune are you getting me we've set the tune already so if the spirit of God is in your heart he will already be teaching you these things so when we meet in the night to pray and release and activate these people wherever they are 
We are doing so with so much understanding and so much authority. Our authority comes from the place of understanding. And, and we are going to begin to see changes in our nation. I'm, tell, I'm telling you, this month, watch out. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. This is a great weekend, Lord. Your word is coming to pass and is being fulfilled. We give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you for your children you have placed. As we activate them, they are rising to their place and they are doing what you have commanded to be done. In Jesus' name. Have the best weekend ever. I'll see you on Monday. Oh, I'll see you tonight. Bye-bye. <laughs> God bless you.